Hey guys, welcome to another episode. This is episode two of the Drone Dock, where we are gonna replace the motors and the ESCs on Octazilla. On the table here, we have Octazilla. Now, it's been having some issues lately, and the issues are that we like to carry some weight on this drone, and the ESCs and the motors that we have are not functioning the way I'd like them to fly. And the reason why we're gonna switch these out today, um, we have, we have some APD ESCs on here, and unfortunately, we can't take the we can't take advantage of the fast protocols that they offer because our flight controller here only supports four outputs of digital protocols. So we have eight motors, so we can't run digital signals. We actually have to run a slower protocol on analog, and we can't even run the one shot one twenty five protocol. We actually have to calibrate to PWM. And as a result, we get pretty sloppy uh, flight performance on this. So we're going to go back to our other ESCs. These ESCs we have here, we used in the past, and I really like the way they performed in the air, especially carrying the weight that we were carrying. So we're going to put these ESCs on, we're going to calibrate to a faster analog signal, and then we have some brand new motors we're putting on. These motors are the Navigator series from T-Motor and uh, they're going to be a huge upgrade to what we have currently. If we break these open, what I really like about these is we actually have legitimate wires that we can solder to. These cheap motors that we have on the drone currently, they actually have the solid core windings that go all the way out, so there's not actually wires attached to the motors on our, on our motors on our drone. So I like these because we actually have some wires to work with. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the motors off, get the props off, and then get the ESCs off, and we'll show you a time-lapse of that getting started.
All right, well, that was fun. We're gonna do a continuity check now to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. What we wanna do is take our multimeter, put it in continuity mode. And I'm gonna test power to ground and also ground to ground. So if we test the leads, they should beep. That means we have continuity. And if we test power to ground on the ESC, we have a beep, but that's just because we have capacitors on there. You should be able to hold it and there should be no sound. So we're good there. We're gonna test the other ground. Good there. Good there. Good there. Good there. Let me flip this around and check my other ones. Those are all good. We're safe to plug in power now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the configurator. I have this um, this old flight controller here. It's an old flight controller loaded with Betafly. It's gonna make it easy to uh, connect to the ESCs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the motor directions, verify that the motors are setting correctly and they're spinning in the right direction. And we're also gonna check our settings, maybe even go into the, uh, the LED settings and set those up. We'll pick our COM port. Click on connect. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug motor number one, which is gonna be this front right motor here. And that one should spin clockwise. So we're gonna check each motor individually and make sure that they're spinning the correct direction. Okay, so motor number one, we'll unplug that one. We'll connect it here. And we should be able to pick our COM port. There it is. We'll hit connect. Okay. Connected there. Let's plug in power. There we go. That's connected. Let's go to read setup. Now obviously we only have one connected right now and we're going to do each one individually. So we are going to check the direction of the motor and to do that you go into the motors tab and we'll spin it in here. So this one should spin clockwise and it's actually spinning counterclockwise. So we need to reverse the direction on that. Okay, so we'll change that to normal. And you see these settings that I have in here, they're not stock. This is actually what I've come up with to uh, have this drone flying good. I've changed the ramp up power from 50% to 70% on low throttle, it gives a little bit more authority at low throttle. Another thing I have set here is the low RPM power protection. I have that set to off because when it's set to on, I can't actually speed the motors up to, to full RPM. So I turn that off in order to get the, the full resolution of the motor. Another thing I have is uh, motor timing set to 23 degrees and then also PWM frequency set to 48 kilohertz on both low and high. So we're gonna check all those settings on all four or all eight of the ESCs. And then one other thing I wanna do is I wanna control the lights. So for the front motors, so the front two motors, I actually want those lights to be blue. So I'm gonna turn on the blue for the front motor and I'm gonna hit right setup. And it's blue, perfect. We'll disconnect and we'll repeat that process for all eight motors. Okay, so now that we've checked our motor directions, we've uh, assigned lights to the ESCs, we actually have a custom tone on the ESCs too as well. 
Um, we are ready for a test flight, but before we do the test flight, we're gonna calibrate the ESCs and mission planner according to the radio inputs. After that's completed, then we're ready for a test flight and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys for the test flight. All right guys, we're connected here to mission planner. We're over on the ESC calibration tab. We're gonna calibrate our ESCs and to do this, uh, we wanna make sure that we're connected to mission planner first of all, and we have our battery inserted. And the fact that these output PWM min and max are set to zero means our radio should be on. And it is on, and that'll be that. So we'll press that button. All right, disconnecting the USB, disconnecting the battery, plugging the battery back in. And here in just a moment, you guys will hear the ESC start beeping because they'll go into calibration mode. All right, that's it. We're gonna cycle power on this guy. ESCs are calibrated and we'll see you guys out at the field for a test flight. Hey guys, we just finished the power system upgrade. We're out here in the back of the studio. We're gonna do a test flight. So the battery's plugged in right now. Uh, we have our radio on and uh, we're in stabilized mode and we're ready to go. Oh yeah, roll is good, pitch is good. Yeah, and as you can see, we've simulated the payload that we're gonna carry on this. Um, we have uh, roughly about six pounds, just a bit over six pounds. Oh yeah, this is amazing. I can't wait to fly this with the, with the drones on there. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, quad dock out. <laughs>